Okay, here's a uh, unboxing video. I just got my YB-49 flying wing in. Uh, it's totally sealed and everything. And I wanted to first show you something remarkable about uh, changing economies. So here's, here's the box that it came in. And here's the AMT version of the XYB35. Same scale. Just look at the difference between these boxes. This is crazy. Let me put this a little further off and maybe that'll show it a little better. So exactly the same size kits and everything. But uh, there's something about the old school way of boxing things that is still pretty cool. Um, this this is all very efficient, uh, very very well designed to maximize the space and everything. Very European, but uh, you know the good old fashioned American way of boxing models. Just. Uh, just something about that. So I just wanted to uh, just wanted to point that out. So on to the unboxing. So this came very very quickly. I was surprised at how quickly it came. It came from Missouri out here to California. And much faster than the Pony Express ever could have done way back in the day. Now I'm pro protecting the plastic because my workstation and everything is out in the garage, which is not, you know, really sealed well. And it is very cold and rainy still here in Northern California. So. I want to try to preserve as much protection for the box as I can. Okay. So, okay, some differences right off the bat. The, uh, the decal sheet. These uh, black linear decals, I did all those in pinstriping on my XB35. Uh, so that's, that's cool that they are now decals for this kit. Uh, but maybe I'll still do the pinstriping because it's so easy to work with pinstriping. Check the paper for the decals out of the way. Instructions. I like how the Atelier instructions are photographs, whereas in the AMT kit, they were all drawings. But uh, this is good here. I like this. It is basically the same kit. I don't really see any differences other than obviously the uh, vertical stabilizers for the jets in the absence of propellers, obviously. I was under the impression when I first was looking at the XYB35 that it was actually both kits in one that you could build either the propeller version of it or the jet version of it. Uh, I didn't realize that the uh, YB49 was not part of the options in that kit. 
Okay, so all the all the pieces just look exactly the same as the AMT. Packaged a lot more economically. So this will essentially just be building the same kit again. Except for all the vertical stabilizers that will uh, come with things. So looking forward to when I can do this one. Uh, I'm going to try to finish off my Hinkle 111 Zwelling before I jump into this. As well as my, what else am I wearing? My P38. I still need to finish it. And I still need to knock out my um, Moonraker. I have two Moonraker builds going. One of them is the uh, rocket stack on the launch platform and the other is the Moonraker on the 747. So uh, those those I've got to get done first. But uh, let me flip around over here. I'm in my, my bedroom here and I can show you again my XB35. So there she is, and you can see the pen striping I did on the top of it. That's technically not what the XB is supposed to look like. That's what the YB is supposed to look like, but I did a hybrid of the two because I really, really liked the turbo props for the XB. Whereas the YB just has the single uh, layer props. But the YB has the pinstriping, the black lines. So I decided I'm going to keep the turbo props and I'm going to just do the pinstriping because it's my model and that's the way I want to do it. And so again, here's the lighting for it. really turned out well and I like my little diorama base I did for it little uh, desert periphery on the sides with some growth and then the asphalt area which again is just uh, drywall uh, putty that's all it is uh, drywall mud so So the Y49 is just going to basically look like this too, but instead of the propellers, it'll just be the jets with a series of vertical stabilizers on the top and bottom, ventral and dorsal, uh, to add to greater stability. That was the, uh, the chief problem with the XB35 and the YB35 and then the Y49 was given the technology at the time it was just a bear to keep this wing stable uh, you really needed more modern technology uh, as in the current flying wing that the Air Force uses the current bomber uh, where computers can handle the heavy lifting of coordinating all the aerodynamics and keeping the aircraft in flight uh, it was just very, very difficult to do that manually. So, Let's see if you can see some of the blinking lights in there. There you go. So, looking forward to doing my Italieri Y forty nine. Thanks.